If you want to instantly improve your photos and videos, no matter what your skill level, then this is one of the only lenses that is capable of doing that. It can make your content go from beginner to pro level just because of the quality of this lens alone. If you master your skills, this lens can really take you to the top level. It's that good. And today we're gonna to be talking about why I sold it. And that lens is the 7200 f 2.8. And yes, that is correct. I did sell mine, even though it was my favorite lens. And the reason why I sold it, it's because it's that good of a lens. Yeah, that might sound a little bit strange. Why, if, if it's that good, why would I sell it? Well, if you're a Canon shooter, then you're in luck because the reason why I sold my EF 7200 f 2.8 was to fund the RF 7200 f 2.8. Canon has absolutely changed the game in what a 7200 can do. Not only is this lens one of the sharpest lenses probably on the market at the minute, not only is it one of the most beloved and well-built lens and an absolute workhorse of a lens, they've absolutely changed the game with it because of the size and weight. I absolutely loved my EF 7200 f 2.8. It was my favorite lens. It was one of the most sharpest lenses I've ever used. And the one thing that I hated about it was the size and weight. Especially being an EF lens, I had to adapt it so it made it even longer on my R6 II and my R7, but it was mainly the weight. That lens was such a beast and it was so heavy. The size and weight is an absolute game changer in every aspect for me. It can fit in my bag easier so I can fit more stuff in. It can also fit in my Travel Peter McKinnon Nomatic sling bag so it's that small. If I take off the lens collar, it just fits in there perfectly. And also just using it throughout the day. Just holding it, it's so small it's so much lighter my hand doesn't hurt as much I want to use it way more and not only that but the focus and the sharpness is absolutely ridiculous this is one of the sharpest lenses I think I've ever seen it's so crisp and the focus is a lot faster as well considering how good the Canon cameras are at focusing and how good the old lens was at focusing I'm really surprised how quick this lens is at focusing and I didn't think a lens could actually focus that fast so what are the drawbacks why is it this small and how can it be sharper and faster focusing surely there is a drawback for me and a lot of others out there especially they don't like the fact that it is externally zooming now if you zoom all the way out to 200 millimeters it's about the same size as the ef version and of course it's still a lot lighter and people don't like external zoom lenses because people think dust and loads of crap can get inside the lens and like make it worse over time and damage it but I'm not too concerned about that. Obviously, I prefer an interior zoom lens. The one thing that I do think that's annoying about this lens over the EF version, time it takes to go from 70 millimeters to 200 millimeters. It's a lot longer than the EF version. The EF version, I could literally zoom it within like just using my thumb. I can get there, but it just takes a little bit longer. It is quite annoying if you wanna quickly get to that's quickly 200. It probably takes the same amount to get to 200 on the EF version. It probably gets you about 135 millimeters, and then it's just that extra little bit to get to 200. So it's not the biggest deal in the world at all. If you've got time, then you've got your time to zoom into 200s. But if you wanna get that quick zoom at 200 mil, you might just miss that shot because you are zooming in. I would happily, gladly trade having an external zoom lens that takes a little bit longer to get to 200 millimeters if it meant having a lens, a 7200, this small and this light, especially with it being f2.8 as well. So how can this lens make you a better videographer and photographer? This is the best lens you can buy at any stage of your career. If you're lucky enough to get it at the beginning of your career, like I did with my EF version, and I'm not just saying buy the RF, I'm saying buy an old Sony one, I'm saying buy buy an old Canon one because when I first got mine I got mine for under a thousand pounds used and it was a workhorse of a lens you can get 135 millimeter f 1.8 you can get an 85 millimeter 1.2 and they will be amazing but having that 200 millimeter focal length gives you that lovely compression and bokeh in the background of your photos and videos you can give this lens to a complete beginner nine times out of ten the photo will look very pleasing to the eye, to the average person, I would say. Just because of how good this lens is at 200 millimeters f2.8 and how sharp this lens is as well. And I really do think this should be in every photographer's and videographer's kit at some point. And the earlier you get one, the better, and you won't 
don't look back. An 85mm f1.2, you're going to get that unbelievable background blur. You're going to let in so much more light, so you won't have to increase your ISO as much as well. And using one of these, because it is f2.8, f1.2 to 2.8 is a huge difference. But also having that versatility from 70 to 200, quality of the images and photos you can get out of a lens like this is unbelievable. This lens is relatively new to me, and a lot of the images you are seeing on screen today and videos have been captured on my old EF 7200 f2.8 because like I said it's just about the 7200 f2.8 Sony Nikon Sigma and I'm so lucky to have one and if you do want one I will leave the link in the description below for all of the 7200s that uh, you can buy for Nikon Sony so if you do want to go buy one I really do recommend you do the link is in the description below this video is brought to you by Artlist if you want to get the best music sound effects footage templates all in one place then Artlist is the place to go so if you want to get $50 or pounds off of your annual subscription then use the link in the description below if you did enjoy this video then you might like this video up here where I talk about the perfect lens for your APS-C camera so if you want to know what that lens is watch that video next